back off and, you know, take several antibiotic or antimicrobial prescribing seats. in a minute and it's pretty late already tonight but I just wanted to come on here and let you all in on a little secret well it's not secret anymore um, Sandoz had their big launch already I think it was yesterday um, they have officially launched the first ever generic Phosphomycin. So, if you're not a pharmacist, if you're not familiar with um, pharmacology, then phosphomycin is an antibiotic. It's a broad spectrum. It basically works against E. coli, um, I think Klebsiella, a few other pathogens, but usually found in the ur urinary tract so it's good for like UTIs and stuff um, this is interesting I just want to throw my thoughts around and you know comment openly and see what y'all think so it's a good thing congratulations Sandoz yay whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, yeah it's a great thing I mean generics help People um, have cost-effective pharmacotherapies, uh, generics give people options, and generics are bioequivalent. Uh, I don't want to get into that now because it's like uh, a really long and convoluted debate. But in a nutshell, if a product is deemed to be a generic, that means that bioequivalence has been established. However, bioequivalence doesn't necessarily speak to um, the experience of an individual. So two compounds may be bioequivalent, but one might have a better absorption rate than the other. One might have better excipients than the other. Um, and therefore, all of that contributes to the experience. Sometimes when people say, oh, it doesn't work for me, it could just be that they're having a placebo effect and they just want to be um, picky or they're difficult or it could actually be that their system has a hard time metabolizing or even not even metabolizing, absorbing or disintegrating the the one compound or agent over the other depending on the formulation because formulation also has i mean plays a really big role in um the the quickness or the speed at which uh, a drug will release so anyway different story for a different video but yeah way to go great job sandoz uh, you're doing great things for the pharmaceutical industry. Now, I want to use this opportunity to warn or let's say remind all the prescribers to, again, be very careful with prescribing antibiotics. Don't be lazy. If you need to do a culture, do a culture. If you need to swab, swab if you need to double check double check uh sometimes laziness makes a lot of prescribers do empirical therapies which guys we're gonna run out of antibiotics in like the next 10 years no joke this is a serious global global crisis and emergency um the cdc has warned the who has warned about it Everyone who's slightly conscious about antibiotic stewardship, notably pharmacists, are well aware and do their best to remind and inform other healthcare professionals of the urgent need to back off and, you know,
take several antibiotic or antimicrobial prescribing seats. Now, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but when times are pressing, you need to come strong with the aggression. We need to literally backpedal and make up for all the recklessness. If you look at prescribing habits for the past few years, the recklessness reeks, like it's disgusting. Again, different video, different topic, but please, if you're a prescriber and you just hand antibiotics away like there's sweeties, like there's smarties, shame on you because you're part of the problem. If you're a patient and you go and demand antibiotics, when you haven't done one class of pharmacology, you don't know medicines from Adam, then shame on you too because you're bullying a professional into uh, giving into your perceptions because they're not even founded and you're harming yourself because you don't even know what the heck you're requesting. Antibiotics are most of the time not even warranted for the thing you think you need them for. And secondly, secondly, and secondly, for the rest of the world because you're building resistance and ruining ruining it for the rest of us. Antibiotic resistance means that if bacteria starts becoming immune to the medication you give it, it's gonna become immune to every other organism and that means none of us can use the antibiotics anymore. So, I don't wanna ramble on, this video is gonna to be too long, but use antibiotics sparingly wisely and please when you can if it's not a life and death situation take the time sometimes a really good and i say this all the time a really good algorithm and questioning can eliminate the need for like tests um for like blood tests or cultures you know if you can really master your anaerobics your aerobics your gram positives negatives if you can really master your different classes of antimicrobials, then it's a win for everyone. You're gonna prescribe more accurately, more precisely. You're not gonna pump somebody with 5,000 different things that aren't even warranted. Uh, and the recklessness is gonna go down. Safety is gonna go up. And, you know, general well being for all of us is gonna skyrocket. So, thank you, Sandas. Great job. And to all of us, let's be careful. Antibiotics are running out, and you and I won't have anything to give our kids in the next 10 to 15 years. No joke. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found value in this five cents, then put a like and go follow us on our Instagram page, Facebook page. Subscribe here if you're not yet because, hello, um, we're only the best pharmacy roundup channel in the world. And yeah, you guys, um, the giveaway is still on until the end of May. Go to Instagram, follow the instructions. It's free. You can win a whole spa day with a manicure, a pedicure, um, a full body massage, or a guest voucher to go get you some cool um, bags or wallets or clothing. And yeah, that's a thank you for one whole year on YouTube, 365 days on the channel. And um, yeah, thanks to almost 3,000 of you guys for uh, walking this journey with us. So from farmers to you, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.